Yeah. I want to talk about Mr. LeBron James and some of the news that's been surfacing about him. Low key, even though the media is not going to even have a discussion about it, I'm not going to even speak on it at all. They're not going to even give their attention to it. But there's a rumor going around that Mr. LeBron James, King James, at one point or another in the past, I don't have the dates and receipts on that, but allegedly, allegedly, LeBron James at one point in time took some kind of substance that technically was, was able to help activate or strengthen his red blood cells or supposed to do something with your red blood cells to where it makes you it gives you more endurance for sure makes you uh, perform a lot better and, out, and helps you to outlast other people and it just gives you that extra gear <clears throat> that most athletes who just are just natural and don't need performance enhancers won't be able to do you know so I don't know if this is true or not, but I will say this. I mean, <laughs> okay, well, I, we can give him this. He's all time scoring. People are considering him to go because he uh, is now the all time leading scorer. It's weird how he's been absent since All Star game or, or since he's came back. This is weird an ankle injury, but he's been popping up at his son's his games, and he's got time to do other things, really. I don't know, man. I don't know about this guy. But did it really enhance? What did it really enhance? I think if it enhanced anything, it enhanced his ability to get to the rim faster. He definitely has that burst of speed and that power and that strength, so it is really going to be disappointing to find out if this man really, really cheated and tried to get an extra edge because we know he don't really have a, a jump shot like that, dog. This nigga jump shot is... I got a better jump shot than LeBron James on me. And I grew up playing football, but nigga, my shit get wet. Pause. My jumper, homie. I mean, it ain't hard to outshoot LeBron James. Can you outplay him and, you know, out-physical him and out-think him? Maybe not. But if this was a shooting contest, I mean, a little kid, a junior high school kid could beat LeBron James in, in a shooting contest. So he ain't really that guy with the shooting. I just think he's been able to, I, I'm not going to say that he, this a steroid is why he was able to get to all-time scoring in the league that fast. But he's been able to get buckets however possible. I'm not saying he can't hit buckets now this man can shoot you know when he's in his rhythm but compared to the grace the elite shooters this nigga no everybody know lebron james ain't wasn't really no shooter like that no assassin he definitely ain't been no killer he's one of the biggest most ferocious strongest looking athletes or as far as just power but he's still everybody know he still ain't no killer like that lebron james ain't never been no killer like that He's had killer moments, but it's only been two real, well, and before LeBron, it was really only two real killers, and that was Jordan and Kobe that will assassinate you, and I think it's really only, it's only really two or three killers now. I oh, know, it's a lot of killers. I oh, know, no. It's that mama mentality. It's all over the NBA. They hate that. They hate that crap. They don't, that's, man, they don't even want to mention the man's name. They don't want to even, if, don't, if GOAT discussion comes up, <clears throat> it's like they got, uh, uh, what do they call that? Basically, they got a muzzle over all these dudes' mouths to not even speak on this man. Like, I don't even want to speak on him on this video because I just feel like it's gonna, they're going to diminish. They're going to start messing with the views. I tell you, boy, anytime I've made a video about this man, Weird stuff be happening, at least with the algorithms and all that stuff. 
but that mamba, that mamba mentality is alive and well. Tatum, Kyrie, uh, Booker, Kawhi, Greek Freak, DeRozan, Curry. Tell you, tell you, dog. But LeBron James, if this man did the extras, did extras to just try to get a, an edge and an advantage, it's like, bro, why did you come to L.A. anyway? I still don't understand why this dude came to L.A. Like, what were you chasing? Whose glory were you chasing? Were you trying to already, did you come there to dethrone and delete Kobe? And now it's just all about you when it comes to L.A.? I don't want to just, I'm not, in no way, in, in no way, shape, or form, me being born and raised in, in Southern California, spent a lot of my years in LA, childhood and adulthood, never will I have LeBron James as that number one memory for, for the Lakers. Like, when I think about the Lakers and their all-time great legacy, I'm not picturing LeBron James. No. In my eyes, LeBron James... He, in a way, forced himself into us to, to try to give him glory. And so he can be glorified in L.A. Because he admires this, the stage, the, the location, the energy. But real talk, he ain't really earn it like that. He ain't earned the place in real Laker history, in my opinion. He's in the Laker history by default. Of course, Le LeBron fans, they right now, they probably, man, nigga, 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 just became all time score. He passed that Kareem. What you talking about? Shut your little goofy ass up, fanboys. The reality is, Kareem, Magic, Worthy, Byron Scott, Cooper. Kobe, Gasol, Ariza, Bynum, Farmar, Shannon Brown, Sasha Vujicic, Lamar Odom, Ron Artest, aka Meta World Peace, aka Meta, I don't know what the heck his name is now. Did I say D Fish? Fox. Robert Ori the Glory. Those are real LA legacy historic greats. LeBron James, Mr. Hopscotch, if you're supposed to be that guy, I just can't give you that much respect like that when you've been hopscotching and chasing rings through trying to build super teams. Like, come on, man. Where they do that at? I respect you, but I can't give you I can't give you the same respect the respect that I give guys like Larry Bird, Bill Russell, Kareem, Wilt, Isaiah Thomas, even Clyde Drexler and Charles Barkley. Like, are you kidding me? Patrick Ewing and them, these niggas were some real dogs. They stuck it out. These teams formed families. They formed a family together, and you had guys start shining on each team. That's what I love. It don't matter if it was my my Lakers or not. Teams I grew up watching, guys, they at the, as year by year, each individual player on each on each team got better, and they made a name for themselves. You can think of the Spurs, think of the New York Knicks. You don't think of just Patrick Ewing, Starks, Oakley, uh, other. Ball head, <clears throat> grimy. Ooh, that nigga was. Them niggas was tough, man. There's a lot of killers out there, man. But I'm not this. I'm not gonna roll with this fanboy stuff, man. And if this man was on steroids, bro, like that right there just makes me completely have lose all respect for this dude. Cause I already feel like they've been just finessing him. Like they've been just. There's been a whole lot of weird stuff happening behind LeBron James. But they've been they've been definitely selecting him. He's the prodigal son of the NBA. He is the golden child that who they chose to be the king and to be the goats. 
I guess to dethrone Jordan, I guess, right? I mean, last I checked, he was never better than Kobe. Never better than Kobe. So, how are you next to Jordan in the GOAT discussion when you haven't even accomplished <clears throat> half of what he's accomplished? <clears throat> You're not undefeated in the finals. You're four and six in the finals, last I checked. Kobe's five and two in the finals. Kobe got five rings to year four. He got five rings on one team. Jordan got six rings on one team. Come on now. LeBron, you got four rings with three teams, buddy. Like, where they do that at? And then you're the GOAT? There's too much fanboy stuff going on, bro. This ain't no hate. This is just real talk. When the smoke clears, y'all gonna start, y'all gonna see what really, what's really been going on. And y'all gonna have to stand on what, with that fanboy behavior. Keep being the fanboy. Because y'all ignoring all the red flags. Everything that makes you be like, huh. But so y'all can give them the throne. Give them the glory. Because the real ones know. When you know, you know. But that man better not have been on no damn steroids, man. Or have taken any type of drug enhancement to... It's like, dude, you was already the most physical specimen when you came in the league as a rookie. Like, come on, dog. He was jumping down there from the free throw line just off takeoff. Most of your points in the three first three, four seasons was just off dunks. You wouldn't even know shooter like that, dog. What is you? Come on, dog. And then you got to take an extra enhancement to maybe increase and improve your scoring, your jump shot. Off with this head. 